Hello everyone, my name is CJ Gamer, and welcome to a game called The Hospital. Um, I found this on Itch.io. It is created on Unity, and this is a self-driven horror game. So I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be uh, self-driven with the jump scares and stuff. But um, I saw the screenshots, and it looks really good. It looks really, really good from the screenshots of it. So yeah. Um. So without further ado, let's get into the game. Options: music volume, sound effects volume, brightness. New game. Best experience with headphones. Got it. Clocks. Adjust the brightness using the bar above you until you can barely see the word clocks. Got it. Is that my feet? When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly, but my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wrecks havoc. Okay, so is this based on the coronavirus or based on uh, COVID-19? It's a penandomium, penandomium out there. So many sick, so many dying, I feel like I've been become a number, a st statistic. Well, I can move my head. I think I'm going sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday, at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. Oh my. I heard them talking about having me to put me under to... Intubate me f if my condition... My god, wow. Okay. <laughs> What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to go. Dying alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven. Or in any of those fairy tales. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really... Oh my god, okay. I thought my voice changer was turned on. Oh my god. I never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. Can barely breathe. That's my heart monitor thingy. I'm up. How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Hint. Walk around using the WASD keys. Look with your mouse. Observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. The game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. All the TV ever played was news about the pandemic. About the daily death toll and the crashing economy. Econ 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 I don't know how you pronounce that word. I told the nurse to turn it off and take the remote away. Watching TV as I wild away, those endless hours struggling to breathe only made everything seem worse. Not bad. I feel like I'm on a spaceship. Chairs. Chairs for visitors. 
Except being in quarantine, I had no visitors. Hospital bed. My bed. Looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off of it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if this room was re recently vacant. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. You watch. In the end, it, uh, my character is still is is still asleep on the bed, and and it's and I'm just going, and it just doesn't remember. And really, it was just I was on the bed the entire time. That's probably what's going to happen. The bathroom door seems to be locked. Oh! That person out there. Okay. I was not expecting that jump scare right there. My god. Wow. Oh my. Maybe a doctor? I need to find out how I'm up. Oh my god. That just scared the crap out of me. Sadly, I can't, um, sprint, so that's bad. Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were abuzz with activity all day and night. Filled with nurses and doctors and patients. It's dead silent now. Unnerving. Locked. Strange. There are no signs. I could swear there were signs beside these doors. Cardiology. Obstetrics, right, radio, lot of G, etc. Why are the windows opaque? I can't see a thing through them. I just stepped out of there, but it's sealed. That's odd. I don't remember seeing any locking mechanism. Lock, that's odd. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. Sealed, just like the others. Do that again. My god. My god, that was really loud in my ear holes. No luck. Did these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Ah! Okay. Alrighty then. Apparently this is a Heart Attack Express game. Apparently, because I keep getting jump scared. My god. Ah. That is really loud. I'm not expecting those jump scares. Door. You know what? I'm gonna say nobody do to that. Oh, uh, something's gonna pop up in my face, isn't there? Isn't there? There's gonna be something that's gonna pop up in my face. Isn't there? Are these patient wards? Why aren't they deserted? There's got to be someone, a nurse or a doctor who can help me and tell me what's going on. And so then she can quit jump scaring me! Cause this is gonna give me a heart attack. What? Someone's on the other side of this door. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, I'm not gonna answer that door. I'm just gonna... Doesn't budge. Okay. I guess we're getting jump scared. Throw the jump scare at me! 
This room looks like this room looks just like the one I was in, but it's a mess. Oh no. Oh, she's gonna walk and it's gonna jump scare the crap out of me again. Hospital bed. How awful. There's some kind of stain. Must be a poop stain. I guess the bed wasn't clean after this after the last patient departed. Okay. That figure. That sound came out came from out there. Can I just turn the lights off? I saw something on that TV. Figure silhouetted against the noise. It reminded me of No, can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that was Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while still laying in bed in some kind of coma. See, this is this is my my guess was correct. My theory was correct. Now I'm just expecting that nurse or whatever to jump scare me every time. Oh dear. Oh, hey! I don't know why I'm getting jump scared, but I am. I'm not. Probably because this is well made. Maybe that's why. Why do I get a feeling something's gonna run onto my screen and jump scare the living crap out of me? I am not going in there. That thing's gonna pop up, come out from, from the covers and scare the living crap out of me. It's locked. Who shut the door? The body in there. A corpse. If this is a dream, it's growing in increasingly disturbing. It kind of is, actually. Sort of. Door. Locked. Doors. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. Please don't jump. Hello. It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare, rather, rather in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? So who's her? Is this my wife in the game or something? Ha! Ah! Who moved that chair? This is going to be called the Heart Attack Express. What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture. And the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live. Except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. Ah! Ah! Okay. It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face. But I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. The familiar silence. Is that my wife in the game? This can't be happening. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of this horf horrific event of four years ago are coming back. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life had I done things differently and what and at what cost? Are you gonna jump scare me? Why do I get a feeling she's gonna jump scare me? Only cold silence. What does she want? Oh! Okay. 
Naya, did I, did that really happen? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seeding by my past while my body lies racing away in a coma on a hospital bed? Okay, this is gonna, this, oh my god, this is actually a really jump scary game. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Naya, I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach. Just after yet another biter fight, bitter fight. She was just 24. But by then, she had already begun to show increasingly frightening sights of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erectic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, an obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to get help. Okay, this is really getting disturbing now. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me. Her dark eyes, empty and unreadable. Her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, I'm not gonna lie, this is really jump scary. Oh no. Please don't. What is this place? This kind of reminds me of Hatman the Shadow Ward. This kind of reminds me of that game. Granny! Oh no. Something bad's gonna happen here. I do not. Gurney! A dead body. Abandoned in this corridor. The stench here is terrible. I should move on. That thing's gonna move. I knew that was gonna move. She is doing this. I don't know how. Is she toying with me? I must find a way out of this nightmare. Actually, I don't know if this is procedurally generated or not. Oh no. Please don't. Please do not- Please do not throw gurneys at me. I swear one of these things I'm gonna... I swear one of these things are gonna move or like get up and jump scare the living crap out of me. I don't like it. Jump scare? Something's gonna pop up in my face, isn't it? That thing's gonna move. Jump scare? No jump scare. Okay. Aye, aye, aye. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own- Oh dear God in heaven! She said, I don't want to live without you. 
before she could hurt herself. Oh my god. You know what? I'm not reading that. That, no. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital. A week later, I got that terrible call. Hello? <laughs> Naya, oh god. What did you do? Why did you have to do have to go like this? They told me what you'd written on the note you left in last words. <laughs> what do you want from me? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Yeah, why are you jump scaring me, buddy? I'm guessing this is my wife in the game. Are you gonna run up to my screen and jump scare me? Naya, what do you want from me? I think of that note you left, the last words you ever wrote. <laughs> Please don't. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive? Oh, she's gonna... Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Is that it? Is that it? Is that all there is? I'm I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Naya? The bed I was lying on, fighting for my life. Am I well? Am I well or am I still trapped in this nightmare? Bathroom? No. My god, this is a very jump scary game. Do I dare go out there? What will what will I find? A bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? With shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma trapped in a body that, that is wasting away while I suffer a fear fever dream born of guilt? Or am I dead? And is this my afterlife? These dread halls and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity. It's gonna be creepy smiling faces. The end. What do you mean the end? What do you mean, the end? Oh, well, I will say, a very well made game. Extremely jump scary. That is extremely terrifying. I will say, very terrifying, very jump scary game. Um, I enjoyed it. Very well made game. Um, I expected to go uh, in the elevator, but that didn't happen. Um, but. I'm guessing that Naya Go is the wife in my game, or in the game, and uh, and I'm guessing that she killed herself. I guess in the game or something. I don't know. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure you smash that like button, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification so that you guys can know when I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.